Hello YouTube and welcome back to MAM Reptiles. In this video I'm going to be showing you what an adult corn snake enclosure should look like and how you can set one up. So, first of all you're going to want a vivarium. This is a four foot by one and a half foot by one and a half foot Viv Exotic Viva Plus vivarium. It has one ledge here and one ledge here. This is great as it allows me to add extra furniture and allows my snake to have some more exercise. So once you have your vivarium, you're going to want to have your heating. This can be done through a heat lamp or a heat mat. This is not a heat lamp, it's just a decorative lamp to provide some daylight for my corn snake. This is because I have a heat mat, which is a microclimate uh, 26 watt heat mat. I have it controlled by a microclimate Ministat 100 and this is a very good thermostat as it will stop at about 33 degrees Celsius and start at about 29 degrees Celsius giving me an optimum temperature for my corn snake. I also have a, a thermometer on the cooler side which also tells me the temperature in my room and the temp the humidity of the vivarium. So, once you have your heat mat, you're going to want somehow protection that your corn snake will not burn itself. I have my heat mat underneath some reptile carpet here. My heat mat will cover all the way from this side to here and up to about here. This provides a nice warm area for my corn snake as it's a hot air, a hot balloon of air underneath here. I also have an extra terra clay hide here because this is good for holding heat and it's nice and decorative. I have two jungle plants here and an extra large zoomed haber hut here. I have just a piece of java wood as a climbing frame and a piece of oak tea wood up there. I have an extra terra medium cave and another forest plant. Here I have an extra terra lot extra large water dish which my corn snake can soak in and here I have a, an exoterra buffalo skull with a star cactus uh, popping out of it. This is my complete setup and is excellent for my two and a half year old corn snake Caesar. He is on an aspen bedding and as I've said before, has reptile carpets on, just on top of his heat mat, where his heat mat is located. You are also going to want some ventilation. My um, vivarium has some ventilation here, which comes through here, air will come into there, and come out here. This will prevent the glass from fogging up. It also has ventilation on the top here, if the camera will focus on the top here which also provides vent air to go in there and come out here so yes this vivarium is very good and i'd rate it a good four and a half star out of five the only problem i have with it is the rails easily get clogged with bedding as such and also it is quite hard to get um, it's completely clean as the grooves at the back are very deep. I know this is probably my fault as I've not aquarium sealed this. However, my corn snake has not got very high humidity, meaning that it does not matter. Anyway, this vivarium I got as a discount from um, Closing Down Pet Shop. It would have been £150, however, I got it for £50 as it was a display vivarium. It's still exactly the same as a brand new one, and the only... Another good thing about it was it came pre-built, so I didn't have to faff about with building it up. The only problem is it came with one of these locks. However, they did not have the centerpiece for it, so I had to cover it up with duct tape and buy myself the exotic sliding hinge door lock. So, once you have your whole vivarium set up, you're going to want to have your hot side at about 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. 
you are going to want to have your cool end from 22 to 27 degrees Celsius and you're going to run to general humidity that's average in your room. This can be probably be anywhere from 20 to 40% at the most. If your continent is in shed, you may increase this humidity to roughly 50%. However, I would highly advise against anything higher than 50% to prevent scale rot. You can add humidity by using a spray bottle or you can put some or you can place some sphagnum moss into your vivarium. So yes, I'll give you a quick shot of my corn snake now. He is back here hiding. He is here. He's a reverse albino amelanistic corn snake. And he is very, very tame. However, he's a bit startled right now, so I'm going to leave him. I would put this back now, however, I have one hand for the camera, so I can't move him and put it back, and I don't want to stress him out too much. He will move on his own accord, so... So, yes. If you have any tips in the comment section, please let me know. Uh, if I could upgrade this in some way. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Also... The minimum requirement for a corn snake is three foot. I would recommend always going for a four foot as they're an active species of snake and like to move around. You feed them once a week on, as adults, large rats, depending on the size of your corn snake. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. I really hope this video has helped you a lot and I really look forward to seeing your thoughts in the comments. Thank you.